What's good guys and welcome to the trading journal here at Elementary FX. Uh, this uh, episode will be quite quick because we only have one trade to go through and that's the Euro USD and it's a trade we took with some of our members. So this is the analysis and reasoning and the review behind it. So as you know markets closed here and gapped up all the way up here before making a push down and making higher highs. However, as you can see, when price made the higher highs, um, it reached this uh, trend line right here on the bigger, on a larger time frame. So we took the trade slightly below that uh, trend line. We had our entries around 927, and our price, our order was filled. Price pushed up before rejecting that trend line and making its way downwards. So at about this point right here, um, price was about 50 pips, and we were about 50 pips in profit, slightly more than that. I think about 72 at the at the at the maximum so at 72 pips of profit around 50 pips in profit i set my stop loss to 20 pips because i felt like that was a safe area to have my stops as you can see i had my stops here and here however something that i should have done was i could have possibly set my stops higher my stop was uh, this this line right here i should have potentially set my stops higher so that price could reject it before making its way down but if I were to zoom it in for you you can see that price uh, made a push up uh, stopped us out before consolidating for a while more so this was the this was the, the reason why we got stopped out and uh, I'm not blaming any fundamental news on this because but um, I'm not saying that it's, uh, it's all fundamentals but yesterday there were news of uh, Trump's uh, tax reforms and stuff like that which uh, gave some strength into the euro so, so that's why possibly why I've got stopped out. But a technical mistake that I could have made, I uh, could have uh, improved on was that I could have had my stops possibly to break even and I could have still been in the trade. But that's uh, that's all part of the process. And um, I got stopped out for about 20 pips, which is better than uh, losing uh, 150 or even 5 pips. So uh, actually, I just posted a video, the daily market analysis, and uh, we are looking for a potential short opportunity here. Uh, if you want, you can go have a look at it and see what's on our mind. We have a potential short Euro USD and a potential short USD Yen opportunity that uh, we spotted on the chart. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next trading journal.